Hello bookworms. Today I am showing you some books that I purchased for myself um, as a kind of, well not necessarily, but as a kind of like Valentine's Day to me from me situation. Um, Cause why not? And if you're also single or even if you're not and you want to treat yourself, anytime i will always say treat yourself because you deserve it regardless but valentine's day sometimes if you're single like it doesn't bother me but sometimes if you're single you can be a bit like you see all these couples you see all this like lovey-dovey business and you feel a bit left out treat yourself and then you won't feel left out be your own valentine it's 2021 like what are the rules anymore treat yourself treat your friends treat your loved ones whatever just go for it get the stuff in the basket and get it brought um today's first of all <laughs> skip the whatever um welcome back to my channel if you're returning thank you very much lovely to have you as always hope you're well um if you're new and this is your first time seeing me uh my name is sarah i buy a lot of books i read a lot of books and i love books <laughs> um nice to see you nice to meet you this book haul is courtesy no that makes it sound like they gave it to me is is from a book depository um this is only i think the second time i've ever shopped here i did quite a big order um three four five six seven i don't know about eight items um the only thing that i will say and i know people are against shopping at amazon and that i mean i still shop at amazon i probably always will to be honest but um for two reasons <laughs> the price and the service like the the speed of the service my dog's in here if you hear any random barks or growls that's courtesy of molly over there um <laughs> not me yeah with amazon like it's so quick you just can't kind of argue with that amazon prime but um i know obviously the you know why people are against amazon i totally understand that um i do support independent bookshops i regularly do shop at uh, fox lane books which is one that i really like um and mostly I always buy secondhand books anyway. It's very rare that I kind of buy, well, I do buy new book. What am I saying? <laughs> I do buy new books, but mostly if I buy pre-orders, it'll be from Waterstones, but I do still occasionally buy from Amazon. Anyway, the point of that <laughs> tangent was, the only downside I will say with book depository is if you are in, I hate the word depository as well, because every time I say depository, it just makes me think of suppository, <laughs> which is a very, very different line of thinking. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it, it took a while to come is the only thing that I'm saying. Like with the other ones, I think the service and that is a lot quicker. With this one, they split your order up into different, like if you just buy one book, you'd probably get it quite quickly. Um, but it was kind of over a week, I think. Um, for all of it to come I mean some of it came in like four days and then there was another one at five days and then another one six days and then the final bit on like after a week so it's a bit bizarre but um yeah prices I thought were really good actually I don't remember what each things each of these books cost but anyway um it was quite cheap I thought right I will start with I've got okay <laughs> um this is Orbiting Jupiter by Gary D. Schmidt. Um, this is a YA little novel. Um, it's quite big print, so it shouldn't take long to read and it's quite skinny as well. Um, this focuses on a foster, um, well, kind of a boy and his like foster brother um, who moves into the family home. Um, and basically he, oh, excuse me, he's got a kind of young child. He's the foster brother. I think he's, is he 14? I might have made that up. 14? I don't know. Um, well, basically it says, when Jack meets his new foster brother, he already knows three things about him. Joseph almost killed a teacher. He was incarcerated at a place called Stone Mountain. He has a daughter. Her name is Jupiter. He has never, ever seen her. So basically this is like a, um, I don't know, kind of a coming of age type little novel but also they go and track down his daughter that he's never seen before so i thought that just sounded quite nice um i'd never heard of it before i thought the cover was really nice not that that's the only thing that's important but yeah it just sounded quite a good read so that is the first one i'll just put that there <laughs> um next up i've got two kind of romance novels um 
was that oh i thought we got more yeah two romance novels um just to maybe read not necessarily this month but just whatever um the roommate by rosie dannon um i read the synopsis for this on amazon while i was browsing um and it just sounded really good so if you like um it kind of sounded mm, not similar to no i don't know where i was going <laughs> not really similar to anything i think of but um yeah i think you can kind of you know temptation is just across the hall you can kind of see where this is going um but it sounded really good it just sounded like an easy kind of read you know a bit funny a bit steamy whatever um and next up is adult virgins anonymous by amber crew this had really good reviews same with the roommate so i thought they would just be perfect to buy together and read maybe back to back um this sounds just really heartwarming and really lovely so this is just kind of what i was after and i think those two will you know tick tick all the boxes necessary um next up is another one that i <laughs> i tend to do my research on amazon i tend to spend quite a long time scrolling through and reading different book like synopsis and see what i like the sound of this one caught my eye firstly yes the cover did catch my eye but when i read about it as well it sounded so interesting and kind of very unique as well like i haven't seen anything that was like this um i had recently just finished the book cersei by um madeline miller is that right um and while i did enjoy it it made me kind of want to read more um like greek mythology novels um i do actually have two on my shelf which i'm looking forward to getting to but um yeah like i read Cersei just talked for a little bit um i did enjoy it i wasn't kind of blown away by it but i i did really enjoy it i feel like i really liked Cersei more than kind of anything else in it i don't know and at times i found it a bit confusing but anyway this one <laughs> the reason why i'm mentioning that at all this is a um romance novel set in um i think it's either between let me just read this little bit for you a sweeping multi-layered romance set in the perilous days of world wars one and two where gods hold the fates and the hearts of four mortals in their hands so this not only is this a romance not only is this kind of historical fiction ish this also has the kind of greek gods <laughs> in it as well it's like a flipping pick a mix of books this this has got a bit of everything in it so i thought well like yes please thank you very much this sounds absolutely up my street and it's really lovely hardback as well like really lovely and um, i just really like the pink of it the kind of dusty color and the um front cover as well which is beautiful like the people behind her and everything so yeah i'm really intrigued about this one i think i'm definitely gonna have this lined up on my tbr for next month um i might even kick the month off with it because it's a nice chunky one to get stuck into but yeah like i just thought that sounded really interesting um hopefully hopefully it's good <laughs> um next up i've actually got four fantasy picks now fantasy is a kind of a genre that i would never have imagined that i would really love um i really like fantasy kind of films and tv um and kind of very much when i was um when i was younger my favorite film was labyrinth i mean it still is one of my favorite films and also kind of um i used to watch like dark crystal and um oh, what's the other one i don't know like willow and stuff like that like fantasy films you know that are around when you're younger um and i used to love all of that and also then i really love game of thrones now i'm currently re-watching that and absolutely loving it again um you know and like the hobbit and stuff like that so i suppose fantasy books was always something that i should have known that i would enjoy but i think when i first started um bookstagram like fantasy was everywhere and in particular <laughs> this series of books was absolutely everywhere especially the first book like everyone and their dog <laughs> read and loved this so i kind of had a bit of like um you know fear of missing out about it but never got it and never kind of tried to read it or anything until now um this delightful <laughs> trio of books so you've got the cruel prince the queen of nothing and the wicked king all by holly black i've heard so many good things about these books so if you've read them please let me know if you enjoyed them um just from the little synopsis on the back i kind of really think that this will be my cup of tea um they're not too long as well so i suppose that's quite good um and also i haven't really read that many 
um series really like um i think i could literally count the series that i've read on one hand like in any genre like throughout my <laughs> reading life um so yeah i i quite like the idea of having a series to get stuck into and hopefully like fall in love with and really enjoy like i think the feeling of finishing one book and then knowing that you've got kind of two others or five others or however many to come is like a really exciting thing and I, i'd like to kind of have that so yeah um that's that another trio another popular trio as well book depository i got this um shadow and bone trilogy by lee bardugo and um, i actually have two of her books sat on my shelf that i haven't read yet um the six of crows and ninth house um i attempted to read ninth house last year and i think maybe i just wasn't in the right mood for it because i just could not for the life of me figure out what was going on um and i'm pretty sure nothing confusing has actually happened but just for me i just couldn't get my head around it um so yeah this i believe is going to be a netflix um series so i thought i, I don't know when that comes out but i heard it was coming out so i thought well you know why not so yeah another another little trio they're really lovely as well like nice coloured spines i haven't opened it yet to have a look at them and to be honest i don't completely know what these are about but on the back it says soldier summoner saint find out how it all began okay um yeah <laughs> i do also think with fantasy books sometimes um the thing that kind of put me off well not put me off the thing that kind of um i found a bit I don't know intimidating or a bit daunting about fantasy was the amount of characters that we'd be meeting and then have to remember who they were and i mean i get confused in normal books when there's quite a few characters so let alone a fantasy book where they've all got quite you know fantastic names <laughs> and come from you know weird and wonderful places i'd be like oh god i'm a bit out of my depth but i mean back to game of thrones there's obviously a lot of characters and a lot of different places where they live and i can keep up with that so i'm pretty confident i'll be all right um next up is another fantasy um the shadows between us by trish oh trisha levin seller again lovely cover i will say these fantasy books have very beautiful covers don't they um this <laughs> i just read the little thing and i was like that's that's a bit of me that um okay so basically alessandra is tired of being overlooked but she has a plan to gain power one <laughs> woo the shadow king two marry him three kill him and take his kingdom for herself as you should go as you should <laughs> i read that and i was pretty much sold to be honest and again it's quite short prints a nice size so i hope to get that read next month and uh, dip my toe in my new books that I have got. And then last but not least is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. Now this is, um, from what I gather from reading this synopsis and seeing reviews about it, this is essentially like a Romeo and Juliet kind of, not re well, retelling maybe, um, but set in Shanghai. So it's like two gangs and like that. And I thought, well, that just sounds brilliant. I really like Romeo and Juliet. Um, again, it's got lovely little detail under there. Um, and again, it's just such a beautiful book. Look at it, beautiful. Um, so yeah, this just sounds really, really good as well. Like so many of the fantasy books, you read the synopsis for them and they, I would just be like in the basket, in the basket. They just sound really, really good. So yeah, I'm really happy with that little book haul that I got, that'll keep me going for a while. Admittedly, I did do a book haul uh, in the Christmas sales on Waterstones. And also, yes, admittedly, I haven't read all those yet, but as you will know, any good bookworm acquires a new batch of books before they've read all their ones. I mean, it's just normal, isn't it? You just keep stocking up your shelves, don't you? I'm like a like a um a bookshop. I need to be well stocked, you know, for every every you know eventuality. <laughs> and also at the minute, I mean, we're not doing much else, are we? So might as well just crack on and read and buy. It makes me happy. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That is my book haul, book depository. Thank you very much. Um. Yeah, check them out if you've never been on there. They've got some good 
good bargains. So yeah, I will use them again. I'll just not be too impatient while I'm waiting for them. I think that's the that's the trick. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know in the comments if you fancy, if you've read any of these or DM me on uh, Bookstagram. Always love a cheeky little DM. Um, I'd love to know if any of these are favourites of yours or if you've got any to read or they're on your wish list or whatever. Or if you read them and maybe didn't enjoy them, I don't mind hearing that as well. <laughs> Either or, I like an opinion. Um, yeah, so remember, treat yourself. Treat yourself well, treat yourself often because you always deserve it. Get yourself a little Valentine's Day gift, why not? If you're single like me and you wanna treat yourself and you wanna feel special, go on online shopping, put some things in your basket and you press buy now. <laughs> it will cheer you up, it will make you happy and it's worth it for that alone. Anyway, I will love, Louis, love, <laughs> love you and leave you. Um, I will see you again in a few days with a new video. Um, I haven't decided what yet, but I've got a list. I'll just pick one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, take care of yourself and happy reading as always.